Hi, so 3D surfaces. This starts by doing 2D graphs, representing, basically using them to represent a 3D surface. You won't have to draw a 3D graph. The labeling of your axes is vital because obviously it matters whether it's X against Z or Y against Z or X against Y. And to do this, you allocate a value to a variable. So you're basically going to eliminate either X from your 3D equation or Y from your 3D equation or Z from your 3D equation. So we're thinking, we're looking at functions of X, Y and Z and you're going to have to eliminate one of them from the equation. So next bit. Right. So here's an example, it's an example from a book. Now the book isn't great at this topic, but I think really that's because there isn't really much emphasis placed on the sketching of the 3D graphs. So here you have an example of a surface equation. So Z is X squared plus XY plus Y, so it's a 3D surface. What it asks you to do in part A is draw three separate sections. Now the first one, is going to be for when y is zero. So what that looks like is this. So you basically, if you let y equal zero, then you're simply going to end up with z is x squared plus zero x plus zero. So you end up with z is x squared. And that simply, it looks exactly like a y equals x squared graph. But the key thing is, that that vertical axis is labelled Z. You're then going to let Y equal minus 2. So if I'm just going to move that down. So if I replace in that original equation the Y with a negative 2, that's the graph that I then get. So that's the graph that I sketch. So my sketch looks like this, but it's really important. Sorry, I've just jumped back up there to the top. Um, it's really important that you make sure that vertical axis is labelled Z. And then lastly, it asks you to let Y equal 2. So if you then go back to your original graph equation, sorry, replace your Y with 2, that's the equation that you get. So you just plot it and it's as though, you know, you can put that in your graphical calculator where it's like plotting y equals x squared plus 2x plus 2, but it's your graph is labelled z against x. So that's what it's going to look like. Then this next bit, state which of the sections that you've just drawn intersect with the plane z equals 0. So basically it's like, because you've drawn your graphs as though they're like y equals the equation x, you're looking for where your graph crosses the x-axis. So normally, solving something like this would be when y equals zero. But of course, your vertical axis is z equals zero. So there were just two graphs in this question. So two graphs, sorry, I'm pressing the wrong bit there. Right, the so two graphs in your question are, it touches the axis, um, the x-axis there. So when z equals zero, I've just spotted, okay, it's that one, okay. And then your next one, again, it crosses the x-axis there, so that's the plane z equals zero, so it's that one. So it's not the one where y equals two. Next thing, contours. Right, so from geography, from maps, you might have an idea about what content.